day crafters welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here welcome welcome today i am going to be working on some more testing but i'm gonna mix it up a little bit so instead of using my hot fix um rhinestone applicator i will be using something else Okay, so we have our rhinestones and these are just some products that I'm going to be working on today, testing and just showing you some new ways to apply rhinestones on your products. Okay, so for this first one, this is a canvas. This is a six by eight canvas pretty small but I'm going to show you a really interesting design that you can try on this canvas with rhinestones and HTV okay so I went ahead and I created a print of a dolphin blue I, I figured blue would be a nice twist for this one and we're going to put the dolphin on this canvas, but we're also going to jazz it up with some rhinestones. And this is a technique that I want you to try. And let's see if it works for you. So we're going to try here today. Okay. All right. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. So you don't miss any of my videos. We're always testing and learning over on craft basics so this is the HTV vinyl okay I'm gonna apply some heat to it to get it onto the canvas so I'm using my Cricut mini um, heat press and we're just going to get this on so it's just gonna take us a couple seconds to get this on so here we go And let me know if you've ever tried um, HTV on canvas before and how that works for you. Obviously, this is my first time trying the HTV on the canvas, but it is a fabric material, so I'm sure it's going to work just great. And I did have my mini heat press all the way up. Right. so we could give this another rub and we're we're trying to go in a circular motion um, just to make sure that we're getting full coverage and for the dolphin I did print it just a little bit less than five inches so it's not too big for this canvas. All right, so that's not ready. I think we need to have this cool first. So while we're, while we're cooling our dolphin, the dolphin is just gonna cool off for a minute. I also have acrylic, an acrylic keychain that we're going to do some testing on. So you figured it out already. We're testing rhinestones and instead of using my hot fix rhinestone applicator i will be using my pre-cut heat press mini okay so um i have done some testing before on other products um using the the rhinestone applicator so I'm going to be doing some testing today with the hot fix rhinestones, but instead I'll be using the Cricut mini heat press. Okay. So it should give you a similar application because it's heat that is applying the rhinestones to the products for testing purposes. I'm just going to be applying the rhinestones, um, just to show you how the application would work. Please use your Teflon sheet when you are using your 
heat press mini or any heat press at all to apply uh, whether it's HDV or rhinestones to a surface okay so the stones are not holding as I expected so I am going to try to do another round of heat to see if it will work Okay, so this did not turn out the way I expected it to because the stones are falling off. So this one is a fail for me. Let's move on to removing the transfer sheet from our HDV design. Okay, so now we're going to apply some rhinestones using our hot press um, mini from Cricut. And I'm just placing the rhinestones on the dolphin and we're going to test and the reason why i'm using the heat press opposed to using the hot fix applicator the heat press works great with the htv and if we're applying heat to these rhinestones it should also give us a great application and i believe this will be a definite hack for persons who want to apply rhinestones to htv Okay, this is looking great. I love the fact that the stones are not sliding, the stones are in place, and it did not damage the original design. So using the heat press spinny, it was a definite pass for me because the stones are not moving, they're in place, and this was a success. Okay, so next we're testing on a canvas pouch to see how this one will adhere. All right. So this is still hot, but you can see that the stones are on. They're not going anywhere. And yeah, this is another technique that you can try to apply rhinestones to fabric if you don't have the hot fix um, applicator. All right, and we also tested on the heat transfer vinyl. So applying the rhinestones directly to the heat transfer vinyl, which worked. How well will this hold up in, you know, your washing machine? It should hold up just fine because the adhesive on the rhinestones are pretty strong. All right. So these definitely were a pass for me. The keychain testing was a fail because you can still see where the glue was sliding on, on the acrylic keychain. All right, so that's, that's a no for me. Um, but definitely yes on the canvas and on the heat transfer vinyl. All right, but if you're applying it to, to the heat transfer vinyl, be sure to use a heat press. Um, the bigger one or the mini is just fine to apply it. All right, and if you have one of those square ones, it would probably be a better application for you, opposed to using the small one to cover multiple areas, which works just fine. Um, but if you had the bigger mini heat press, then that would be awesome. All right. So let me know what you think about this video. Was this helpful for you? You know, trying out this new technique opposed to using the hot fix applicator. Um, let me know if you've ever tried that approach before and how it was. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.